Utah's new controversial self-defense law is now making use of it. Earlier this month, KSL investigators revealed unintended consequences of this legislation. Well, now tonight, Daniela Rivera reports after a justification hearing today, the new law John Michael Clara supported could help him avoid a trial. This is video made public for the first time today. A dash camera inside John Michael Clara's SUV captured the moment he says a truck with a snow plow started ramming into him on the evening of November 23rd, 2019. What, what, what is, what is, the final impact spun Clara's SUV around, leaving the vehicle and the camera facing south in the northbound lane of 900 West. You can't see what happens next, but you can hear the gunfire. Seven shots that led to seven felony charges. I don't remember if he backed up. But Clara claims he was acting in self-defense. Today he testified the truck was about 50 feet away from him when he saw brake lights and worried it was turning around. I was just aiming you know, to let him know if you come back this way, you know, you're going to get shot. But prosecutors believe Clara's actions endangered others. One of those bullets flew through the cab of a different truck stopped nearby where a man, his wife, and his 12-year-old daughter were waiting for a train to pass. I observed that she had glass in her hair. Luckily, no one was hurt. The truck with the snowplow was later found abandoned nearby, crashed into a chain link fence. We weren't able to determine who was driving that vehicle. All right, raise your right hand, please. Monday's justification You're hearing represents a brand new court process in Utah under House Bill 227. The new law creates a chance for people who claim self-defense to have their charges dismissed without going to trial. Prosecutors have to prove in a pretrial hearing that the accused was not acting in self-defense or the defense of others. They don't have to spend the enormous amount of money to defend themselves at trial. Mitch Velos is one of two attorneys listed as representing Clara. He told KSL investigators he found this you know, process in Florida's Stand Your Ground law and pitched the idea to lawmakers. Velos and Clara both testified in support of the bill during legislative committee hearings. This law, if it were passed, it would help people in my situation it's now up to the judge in Clara's case to decide whether prosecutors have presented enough evidence to prove that Clara was not justified on this night two years ago when he opened fire. Supporters of this law, including the bill's sponsor, Representative Carrie Ann Lisenby, have said it will save people who've acted in self-defense from a lengthy and expensive legal process. But in Claire's case, the law is certainly not saving any time. His trial was canceled last June after he asked for this justification hearing. And now we've learned the judge isn't likely to rule on the issue of self-defense before February. Back to you.